Central Coast, second v third. Uh, I'm sure you're excited to get back to Amy Park and, and finish off a, a big week here in Melbourne. Yeah, it's been a big week so far. Um, obviously the derby on Saturday and um, the short turnaround uh, playing West United Tuesday night. Um, you know, it was a wonderful result for us and you know, um, the players backing up so soon after Saturday's game and uh, winning in dramatic circumstances at the end, uh, you know, really shows the, the character and personality of this team. How do you take stock, obviously, the loss to MacArthur probably 10 days ago, a win and a draw since then? How do you take stock of reaction of the side uh, after coming off the first loss of the season? Um, to back it up with four points after that. Yeah, very very pleased with the reaction. I thought the, the performance against uh, Melbourne City in a derby game was very good. Um, we, we got a draw, obviously we would have loved a win, but I thought the performance was excellent and um, you know we, we won the game very late against uh, West United and um, so we're, we're pleased. But you, know, you have to move on from that and uh, we know we have a very a difficult game coming up against Central Coast. We've had two draws, so both been very tight encounters, but uh, we're yet to play them here at Amy Park in front of our fans. And uh, we saw how the fans were on Tuesday night at the end of that game and um, the support they gave us. And, you know, we need that again on Sunday. You know, we need them all here cheering for us. And uh, I know the players, the club, all of us appreciate that support. And. Um, you know, that can make the difference. Um, you know, it's a, it's a big game. Um, you know, they had an important win last night in the AFC Cup and um, I'm sure they'll come here with confidence, but, you know, we have a lot of belief at the moment ourselves. We saw, obviously, Damien De Silva pop up in the last couple of minutes um, and everyone sort of saw the eye of that, but his season so far, it's been excellent. Him, mm. and, him and Roddy working together as a defensive unit um, sort of go under the radar a bit mm. um, in the league. How, how have you made his season so far? I know we saw what he did the other night, but I think he's sort of gone under the radar quite a bit with how, how consistent and how solid he is um, as one of the league's leading centre-backs. Yeah, he is. Uh, you know, that just caps off um, you know, uh, the performance, which was fantastic on Tuesday night, backing up from Saturday. Um, yeah, he and uh, himself and Roddy have uh, built a really strong partnership. Uh, you're right, they are sometimes uh, under the radar, um, but not, not in our eyes. You know, the leadership they show on the pitch, um, you know, they, they start our build-up, um, they're involved in our play with the ball, and uh, you know, they're fantastic contributors um, to our game style, fantastic contributors uh, to the points we have so far, and. Um, I'm delighted that you know uh, Damien could pop up at the end there and, and score the two crucial goals that were needed for the win. But um, you know, knowing Damien and uh, Roddy in particular, you know, they have that silly look in their eyes. And although we're, we're delighted with the win, um, you know, we have to move on to to the next challenge and also for us the next opportunity to to get three points. Obviously, there was a bit of squad rotation on Tuesday night as well. Um, how? good was that to be able to have that luxury to have a one-in-one-out mentality and, and really know that anyone can really produce for your side heading into the back end of the season? Yeah, it's, it's been a, you know, a squad effort throughout the year and uh, all the players are, are very important to us and they all play a part. Some obviously play less minutes than others, but uh, all the players know that they are appreciated here and uh, you know, the players that came in. Um, you know, Jakey had a start, which he hasn't had many. Uh, Stefan came in as well, uh, did a solid job for us. Uh, you know, those, those players set a good foundation and a good platform uh, for the players that came on. And all the players that came on, Daniel came on, great impact. Um, Connor, uh, Zizou, uh, Jordi Valadon, yeah, youngster came on. He's starting to look like his old self of last year, um, now that he's got over his injuries. So, um, you know, they're real positive signs for us uh, that this squad is really contributing um, to our season thus far. Looking to this week, obviously, uh, Adama and Rowley, what are the, what's the status on, on those two boys? Uh, good. We're, look, we're happy with their progress. So I, I, I'd be happily surprised if they're available for Sunday. Uh, maybe Adama has a chance because he's uh, trained with us uh, this week and he will today. Uh, train with the group so we'll assess him later in the week but I'd say Rowley 
uh, should be available uh, next weekend. And looking to this week, obviously the Mariners, you, you talked about their AFC Cup performance, but they did play 120 mm. minutes. Um, how do you see them? Obviously you've had a look at them over the last couple of weeks, their second spot on the ladder, the early 120 minutes in Campbelltown as well. Um, what are you expecting from, from the Central Coast? Well, I expect them to come with uh, great spirit, confidence from that result. Um, you know, you can always underestimate the fact of, of fatigue uh, playing in a big game in 120 minutes, but, you know, adrenaline and momentum can help you get through that. And, you know, we, we were fatigued on Tuesday uh, from Saturday's match and, uh, you know, we scored two goals in injury time. So, um, you know, the mind's a, a powerful tool and they have a lot of confidence. They're having a very good season. Um, so, you know, we, we certainly wouldn't underestimate them with or without Thursday's game. Um, and they'll get the respect they deserve and you know, they're the champions of last year and um, you know, they're having a very good season thus far. So we expect a tough encounter, um, but you know, we feel here at home, um, you know, we're, we're playing well and you know, we want to build on Tuesday's result. And you mentioned at home as well, the Mariners haven't travelled to Victoria too well or Amy Park too well. Um, how important will it be, I suppose, to, to really make it a hostile atmosphere for them 120 minutes? big crowd up against them, um, how important is that for sort of everyone to come down and, and make that a real fortress to, to really not make them feel welcome? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, um, if they don't have a good record here against Melbourne Victory, uh, we need that to continue. So uh, everyone plays a part uh, on and off the park, including our great fans. And, um, you know, we've got to make it as difficult for them on the field and uh, with the support that we get in the stands, uh, together we can have a a very good Sunday afternoon.